Well, hello, YouTube. I uh, just wanted to uh, thank Patty for the opportunity to be in this tag. And I just kind of wanted to uh, go over five knives that always make me smile when I pick them up. Uh, which actually, like he said, was kind of hard because once I started looking at my collection, uh, yeah, there's quite a few that make me smile and quite a few gifts and quite a few uh, different knives that they're just fantastic and you do get kind of confused when you start looking for other ones so we'll we'll go ahead and just start off with uh with some grail knives maybe or or at least a grail for me and that was this uh this case canoe which i've showed again uh, a couple of times but i just love the uh amber jig bone on here i love the cv blades i got this knife uh, because I wanted one that had the uh, image of the uh, Native American in his canoe uh, paddling on a uh, lake somewhere. That uh, That's always been something that interests me. Uh, but yeah, this one, I, I think it's just a beautiful knife. It makes me happy whenever I hold it. Uh, just perfect construction. It's just a perfect knife, nice and slim. Just a, a absolute beauty, and I just, I love it. It always makes me smile whenever I have it close to hand. Uh, another one that would be more of a, kind of a uh, working knife for me, but one that uh, always makes me smile, and that's my my first uh, Copperhead. This was a Rough Rider in the uh, Red Pick Bone, uh, another favorite of mine. I really love uh, how the... Uh, red dye came out on this. It's a, a little lighter on this side, but that's okay. I really like the uh, clip point blades on this. Uh, just absolutely wonderful. And this is still one of my favorite knives to take to work. It's got the uh, the frosted etch on the, uh, on the secondary blade, but you know, that's okay. Like I said, this kind of introduced me to the uh, copperhead pattern. And that was uh, pretty awesome to find, you know, that I really liked it. And then Case came out with the Copperhead uh, this year for their vault pattern knife. So that's been fun trying to get a couple of those. Uh, speaking of work knives, you knew this one had to come out. The uh, Roper Pecos, because this has been on my channel how many times? <laughs> I don't know. But it still delights me. It, it makes me smile every single time that I use it, every time I pick it up, every time I look at it, just in absolutely gorgeous uh, blade shape. I, I love it. Uh, 1065 carbon. Just an absolutely gorgeous knife. Has the pocket clip and a liner lock. It is a hybrid, uh, you know, so it's a traditional and uh, modern at the same time. And still one of my all-time favorites. And it does. It makes me smile every single time. The uh, second, uh, or the last two knives are actually gifts that were uh, that were given to me. Uh, this one, the uh, Boker Liner Lock, uh, is just absolutely a beautiful knife. Uh, I got this from uh, one of my uh, friends on Instagram, uh, David Portman, and I did a, a video on this knife and another knife that, that he gave to me. But still, this one makes me smile and it makes me humble uh, to think that, that he, uh, you know, thought so highly of me that he that he sent me this. And that's, I think, why it always makes me smile is because it just reminds me that we have friends out there that uh, they mean something to you and, and uh, it makes a nice memory with the knife. Uh, the last one is also a gift from a viewer. This is from Stuart Harvey. And this is also my very first uh, Duke Duke. And he uh, blued the blade and sharpened it, and it's got a little uh, engraving of a squirrel on it there, which uh, I guess he, he may have not known this, but I've been uh, described as squirrely sometimes, especially in my past. <laughs> but uh, just a lovely knife, uh, maybe not the most expensive one uh, that you might find, but this is priceless to me, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I really love it and I appreciate it. Again, it's those things that, that humble you when you make friends uh, and they actually gift you a memory 
that you'll always have this. Uh, so this is a kind of a short video. Uh, these are in no particular order, but I'd have to say of uh, maybe the top five knives that make me smile. Uh, these are definitely ones that do that for me. So thank you again, Patty, for the tag. Uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to tag anybody else or not, but I'm going to go ahead and tag them anyways. I'm going to tag uh, Mark Kaufman. I'd like to see, you know, his five knives that make him smile. I'm also going to tag uh, Jake from Ohio State. I want to see his five that make him smile. And I'd like to uh, tag also the uh, knife detector and see if, you know, what his five are. And then we'll, uh, we'll just go from there. We'll keep it going. If anybody else, uh, you know, wants to join in, uh, go ahead and make a video on it. This is, this is fun. So anyways, I will, uh, talk to you guys in the next one. Have a good one.